Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humblebee and Me, and today we're doing something special for Mother's Day, and we are making Mom's Creamsicle Hand and Body Lotion. So this lotion is one that I developed and I made with my mother. So my parents live out on the coast in British Columbia where it's much, much more humid than it is here. So when she comes and visits, she often sort of adopts a lotion that I have around and I, I usually have a few, but uh, on one of her more recent visits, I didn't have anything <laughs> available for adoption. So we worked together to create this lotion that we're gonna be making today. And this is sort of the second version of the lotion after she tested it and used up a bottle of it. And so we kind of tweaked it a little bit to make it it, uh, extra awesome and that's what I've got for you today. So one of the first things that we did when we knew okay hey we're gonna make a lotion and it's gonna be your lotion mom uh, we made a list of the things that you know that she wanted in her lotion so she wanted it to be pumpable or squeezable so the first version we made in a pump top bottle and then this version we put in a squeezy bottle with a little disc flip top and um, so it needed squeezy squeezy so that partially dictates the size of our oil phase and then also you know we're not throwing in a lot of thickeners uh, she wanted it to be you know really soothing and hydrating for hands uh, she works with her hands a lot washes her hands and uh, just the environment here in calgary was really really drying her skin out so that was definitely a consideration as well and then wanted it to smell really yummy <laughs> The first version of this recipe was just scented with benzoin, so it had a nice vanilla-y note to it. And then when we were making the second version, my mom had recently used some of my orange wax wood polish, and I'll throw a link for that recipe in the description box below. And I was like, I love the smell of that, could we incorporate that? And so we did, so we incorporated some sweet orange essential oil and some benzoin. And so something that I've been learning in the uh, Formula Botanica course that I'm taking, and from Tisser and Young's Essential Oil Safety for Professionals book is that Sort of unlike I had, I have read and continue to read in many many places. Um, all citrus essential oils are photosensitizing, and you know if you ever have any of them come into contact with your skin, you shouldn't go out in the sun for at least 12 hours. Uh, this is a really really common thing that I read quite a lot and read quite a lot uh, when I was first getting into this, and just sort of was like, okay, yep, that's true. Uh, and so I've been learning more details about that. Um, and it's not really all, it's not entirely across the board true. Some citrus essential oils aren't photosensitizing and then the rest of them, there are just maximum limits that you should adhere to. So I've written more about this uh, on the blog post for this, link that in the description box below. There's also a lot more interesting information about this recipe in that blog post. So I highly recommend clicking through and giving it a read. Just like most lotions, this one is pretty darn simple to make, comes together quite quickly, and I happen to think is the perfect thing to make with your mom. So come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining our two phases. So up here we have our water phase and we have our oil phase, and we're going to combine them in two separate heat resistant glass measuring cups. So in this cup, we have 80 grams of distilled water, and to that we're going to add two grams of vegetable glycerin, one gram of hydrolyzed silk, 20 grams of aloe vera juice, and three grams of panthenol. For our oil phase, we'll need four grams of polo wax, complete emulsifying wax, one and a half grams of cetyl alcohol, 10 grams of safflower oil, and four grams of lanolin. Up next is heating everything. So we're going to pop both measuring cups in this water bath, which is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and help our water phase get all dissolved. So after about 20 minutes, everything has melted through and you can see this water bath is still steaming hot. So we're going to remove our measuring cups and get the steaming hot water bath out of here. Now we're going to add our water part to our oil part. You can see that starts to emulsify and get all lovely and milky straight away. And now it's time for a bit of higher shear mixing. So I have an immersion blender here. So we're gonna pop this in here and blend. You will need to be careful to start slow with short bursts and work your way up to a full blend. If you just go in full bore, you'll spray hot <laughs> lotion everywhere. And you also wanna be quite careful to keep your blender quite upright because um, as you angle it, it will start to spray up more in certain directions. And if your container is sort of just big enough, uh, you can start to get spillage at one side if you're tipping. All right, that was three minutes of blending. So I'm gonna leave this to cool down for about 10 minutes and then come back and blend it some more. 
So it's been 10 minutes. Come back, give this a little bit of a stir. You can see it's definitely still very, very, very thin. Um, still pretty darn warm. So yeah, we're gonna give this another blend in. All right, so that was about another two minutes of blending. Give that a bit of a stir and leave it to cool for another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes have passed and oh, this is looking really good. The side of the container is also just barely warm. So I think we are ready to get moving with our cool down phase. So for a cool down phase, we're going to measure it into a smaller beaker and then pop some lotion in there, stir it around and then move it back to the main container. And so this allows us to use a significantly more precise scale, which is uh, necessary when we're working with ingredients we want to measure out in smaller, more precise amounts. So we're going to start with one gram of liquid calendula extract. I'm using a pipette to measure that. Half a gram of liquid germal plus. 0 0.1 gram vitamin E. Half a gram of benzoin resinoid. And that's roughly two blobs of <laughs> benzoin resinoid. And then we have 0 0.4 grams of sweet orange essential oil. And that was about 12 drops. So now we are going to pop some lotion in here. And there we go, isn't that gorgeous? So now we're ready to put this in our container. So to bottle this up, we've got the batch of lotion that my mom and I made earlier that you can see the pictures from on the blog. So I wanna to top this bottle off and then I've got a smaller sort of purse size bottle that we can put any remainders in. All right. And so for reference, that's a 240 ml bottle and this one's a 60 ml bottle. And to fill them with a bit of leftover, uh, there was a 140 gram batch that I made with my mom and then the 100 gram batch that we just made here. But yeah, there you go. You just made some of my mom's creamsicle hand and body lotion. So thanks so much for watching. Please do remember to Go check out the blog where you'll find the whole recipe all written out, lots of information on substitutions, links to all the ingredients and all kinds of other useful information. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time.